it's too yellow. This is not how I wanted this video to go. But I'm going to go with it because it's going to be true and authentic to what's going on in life right now. I had it all complete outline of this beautiful vision that I had for the video. But Malia has a cold. Arguments with my husband. All those things try to tear me down. And I know they're not meant to. My natural behavior right now would be that I want to eat junk food and two, that I want to scroll on social media. Um, that'll relieve my anxiety. Some way, somehow, a little bit, I will be able to get like some type of dopamine within me. But I'm trying to change that. So right now, before I clean up, I'm going to work out. Because I'm trying to instill the release of my frustration in a healthier way um so i'm gonna work out and then i'm gonna talk to you guys about the reality of being in shape the reality of getting in shape as a mother it's been two years since i've given birth to my daughter almost two years and it's still i'm at my pre-pregnancy weight but i have a lot of body fat that i want to get rid of so i'm going to talk to you guys about that um but right now I'm going to work on this habit. I'm going to stop indulging in my negative behavior, which is excessively scrolling and eating bad. So I'm going to get my water and I'm going to get on my spin bike and I'm going to do a 15, 20 minute ride. It's, it doesn't have to be intense, but I'm just trying to trigger my mind and my body to a positive reaction to negative feelings. So one is Leonese and the other one is Lenise. And um, we were talking today. We're like, uh, we need a mom date. Like we need a friend date. We need to like chat because we were both going a little crazy. Um, so we set something up, hopefully for tomorrow. But um, one, I'm gonna have to color correct this because I hate how yellow it is. I have to take this off. This room has like this warm colored cover over the light, so it makes this room super warm. Um, I literally had this amazing breakdown for this video. I had this vision, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna press myself to be aesthetically pleasing like I said I'm gonna be authentic I'm gonna be straight up with you guys my struggles uh, the messes real life y'all because I feel like I know I have like tried to manipulate things for being like more glamorous than it is um, and situations in life being more than what it is and um no life
life is hard right now. Getting back into the rhythm of things, it's really hard. Um, feeling encouraged by my husband, it's really hard. Um, just being in different mental spaces, um, trying to find it into a good rhythm is what we're struggling with. I'm gonna be honest, today and yesterday, uh, emotional little rafts affected me from filming. I know that is a um, plan of the enemy, like because when you emotionally affect me, it like takes a toll on me. Um, but I'm trying to gain control of that, where emotions are real, but also my purpose, my needs, what needs to get done, needs to get done. Um, and I'm very happy that I worked out before I cleaned because I was in such, and I feel right now, so much better than what I would have probably felt. Um, so I made sure to, let me see if I can turn on this light. Much better. Okay, awesome. So I've been really working on not being emotionally driven, like not allowing my emotions to captivate me and um, I am, like I said, okay, I have so much to tell you guys. So I was listening to The Atomic Habit and I'm going to link it down below. If you are seeking change, if you want any change, if it's to become a better wife, mom, self, physically and mentally, you need to listen to that book. You need to. I'm not even done with the book. I'm not done. And it's already impacted me so much. So listen to the atomic habit, right? Because I already have taken charge in a better mental place of the decisions that I have control over. Um, so yeah. I, it's okay for me to be frustrated with my husband. It's okay to be frustrated with motherhood because Malia has a cold. It's been a hard day. It's hard for me to do things with her because she just wants things. And to be honest, I'm not always in a mental space to explain things from start to finish. It's something that I'm working on and um, I'd rather not do something in front of her if I'm going to feel her fresh, like her wanting it. Like I can be reading a book, I could be looking at this, I can be writing something and she will throw, I don't, if you have a toddler you would know, uh, a, a, a total attack for wanting a pen and a paper. Like literally, so uh, that moment, it's a really hard emotional moment for me to get through because I'm triggered and I don't know exactly what triggers me. I'm still, I'm, I've been learning a lot about my triggers and that's one that I'm trying to learn more about. Um, so all those things resulted in me being unfocused, undisciplined and hating everything that I was doing hating my mindset, hating um, the work that I needed to do for YouTube, hating my physical appearance. Um, side note, I love my haircut. I hate the fact that I cut bangs though. Let me just be quite honest. I wish I never cut bangs. I wish my hair was just one length. But there's nothing I can do about it now. Um, so I wasn't feeling myself for a long time. And not feeling myself meaning like I wasn't taking care of myself. It wasn't in a, and taking care of myself is being disciplined in the word of God, being disciplined with my food, being disciplined with parenting, being disciplined because we fail to realize that we are also something that needs to be disciplined. Like our behavior needs to be disciplined so that we can be who our kids need us to be. Um, so... I'm in a place where I want to fully lose my weight. I want to fully serve the community God has called me to serve. And 
I want to stop allowing my feelings to get the best of me. And again, our feelings are just, but they shouldn't be our motivation to make change. It should be a conscious decision that although you feel this way, you should do the right thing. So for example, although I was feeling frustrated and overwhelmed with putting Malia down, it took me an hour and a half, or maybe like about an hour, I knew that my natural behavior was to go squirrel. In the book, The Atomic Habits, it talked about um, the analogy of doing something wrong brings you to a negative place, but doing something right brings you to a positive place. So the more you make decisions that it's just this one time and you just keep pushing the edge, pushing the edge, pushing the edge, you end up in a more negative place where you have to kind of dig yourself out of. And that's where I was always finding myself. I was always finding myself like getting past that mark, but still making decisions to come back. Um, and I didn't realize the importance of making those consistent decisions to go forward. Although I would make one positive, I would make three or four negative, so I was still in the negative, if that makes any sense. So it ties into this analogy that God showed me was about lightness and darkness, that sometimes we are consumed more with darkness and we need to be more light and consistently making the right decision allows more lights to be turned on so God can clear the pathway to be and for you to see where he's calling you to go for he, for you to see who he's calling you to be um so like the decision that you kind of make like for me it was like making decisions to binge eat today and then tomorrow binge eating is something that I struggled with um, not to the point that I couldn't eat anymore, but I would be mindless in eating. And the again, in the Atomic Habits, it talks about that. The only way you get control of your mindless behavior is when you make them conscious and you're aware of them. So now I'm making decisions that it's going to kind of intervene, which I meal prepped so that I can see what I'm consuming and I can take control. Like, this is what I said I was going to eat today. I'm not going to waste food. I need to eat this. It's the right decision and I'm going to make better decisions going forward. Um, so like, it'll help me take more charge of my body. I give myself rewards for making the right decision because you need incentives. Just like you would get incentives at work when you would make the right decision, you deserve something, right? You deserve some type of encouragement to keep you in the loop, to keep making decisions um, that are going to empower you in the long run and until they become who you want to be. So it's submitting to the right decisions, although you don't feel like doing it, you know that eventually you're going to feel like doing it. And maybe you'll never feel like doing it, but you know it's the right decision. Um, so two things that I got to kind of avoid my um, excuses is one is a sit bike and I'm going to link it down below. It was fairly affordable, nothing compared to the Peloton. It was like 170 something, and I'm gonna link it down below. Um, it's on Amazon, so it is an Amazon affiliate link. So I'm honestly really surprised with the spin bike quality, and I'm really happy with it. Um, I honestly was scared that it was gonna be too flimsy, but it's not. It works really well, and it's exactly what I needed um, to get on track and stop making excuses my apple watch if you have apple watch if you have an apple watch you can get a three months subscription for apple fitness and that's what i'm using and also if once that subscription ends you can do peloton um and do two months of that for free and all you need is an ipad you don't need a peloton to use peloton um but that is one way i love to spin and um, having something like that kind of eliminates an excuse. Like, girl, you about to sit down and do nothing for 30 minutes. You better get up and get on that bike. So that's what I do. Tonight I did a 20 minute workout. Um, not as long as I wanted it to be, but I did something and I was feeding positive things um, to eventually get to a point where I do lift and I do do cardio and I do um, exceed the goals that I want to get to 
um, because I'm tired. Although I am at my pre-pregnancy weight, my body still is carrying a lot of the body fat that I um, got when I was pregnant. So uh, that is my biggest struggle. That's why I don't feel or look how I once did at the same weight. Okay, so see this is why I regret these bangs, but they're growing already because they were not this long. Anyways, all right, whatever. Ignore my hair. It is what it is. Um, another thing that I got was a jogging stroller. So I ended up selling, I had a desktop, two iPads um, that I sold. And I was able to afford to get a new iPad so that I can use um, Procreate. Um, because I want to use that for my videos um, but then I was also able to afford to get Malia a new stroller um, because I sold two oh well, I'm selling two of her strollers because they weren't something that I wanted um, they I was using two strollers for two different things and I just needed one stroller I hated my garage with multiple strollers so I ended up saving up and like selling things to get that one stroller it's a granko one it just maneuvers so softly it holds really nicely so i'm excited that when it's nicer and when she doesn't have her colds i can go out for my walk even when if it's it snows if it's like a little snowy outside the tires seem to work really well so i'm excited to be able to still be outside even on like snowy days um so I'm making decisions that are going to align with what I'm desiring um, and making them feasible and, and not like dreadful. Um, I'm trying to figure out my eating still. Right now I have meal prepped. Uh, what do I have meal prepped? Sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts with a little bit of chicken. I was thinking of eating that for lunch. I've been wanting to fast but honestly I don't I'm going to have surgery next week and my mind is just I've still been sacrificing whenever um, I'm doing something I'm like okay Judy you don't need that like that's not that's extra like don't make your meal like right now it's just Brussels sprouts sweet potato and chicken I literally wanted to put like a ton of stuff on it like cheese and all these other extra stuff but I'm like no girl like you don't need all of that so there's still a sense of sacrifice going on right now for my fasting but I definitely want to give it a really go a good go when I'm doing to do like the Daniel fast really gun hole so stay tuned for that I'll share more of my diet sooner or later on um, right now I'm still trying to figure it out right now I am trying to focus on cutting back eating um, versus being super duper restrictive I it's it's very much so consuming me when it comes to eating and by having some of it meal prepped it's gonna be good just to start off with like i said if you find yourself in a place where you are unconsciously doing things like i was eating or scrolling make the unconscious conscious and you're going to be able to take control out of it um with motherhood this is what i'm gonna leave you guys with with motherhood you are very much so consumed emotionally so then you start doing things out of autopilot to Fill yourself with dopamine and make yourself feel good so I highly recommend to do that in a positive light taking control to do things in a positive light if you find yourself scrolling if you find yourself on TikTok or any type of social media platform just for the release um, try to acknowledge it and switch it to something positive so that you are consumed by the right light and by the right things that are going to motivate you and truly feed you good calories that's what i'm thinking of it as like taking my bad habits right remind me of eating bad food so eating bad calories make you feel crappy consuming bad content like scrolling through social media doing things that are not good for your mental space make you feel bad 
but they make you kind of feel good at the same time just like eating junk food but when you eat good and fuel yourself with the right things then your mental place is clear you're able to serve whatever you're supposed to be doing properly with a good mental place and then you're able to in turn uh live a more fulfilled life so whatever that looks like for you right now in this time with wellness is fully focusing on losing my baby fat um getting myself into a better mental health place to be focused on the right thing so ultimately that's what my wellness videos will be for wednesdays we'll be updating and talking to you guys and showing you guys me overcoming things um and today i overcame not wanting to do anything i overcame the emotional barrier of my husband and i getting into a disagreement i overcame the barrier of my daughter being sick and clingy i couldn't even wash dishes fully with her i literally had her next to me with toys with things and she was just crying um she didn't want to be in the bath crying through that like it was a lot she's sleeping right now next to a little tiny dog that she didn't want to let go but it's hard and firm and i was like whatever just take it take it and just go to sleep um so i got through that and made a positive decision so that's a win in my book for today so i hope you guys enjoy this video and i hope that something that i said resonated with you helps you change and helps you make the right decision because wellness and motherhood is another thing that needs to be reimagined wellness does not look the same for everyone and triggers don't look the same for everyone what's holding you back doesn't look the same for everyone so just identify what it is for you and work towards doing what you're called to do so hopefully next week's content is a little bit more fun with a lot more to show you guys um again i just wanted to show up i wanted to speak what god has been putting in my heart and i just hope that you are encouraged for 2021 that even though it's already a crazy start that you're able to just get up and push through and make the right decision through the hard times so Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.